Okay guys, a uh, quick update video here. Uh, last time you guys saw me uh, delitting and uh, upgrading the CPUs in this uh, 4.1, but uh, now we have some new memory we're gonna stick in there. So we have, these are four gigabyte uh, ECC PC3 10, uh, 600s. What I have in here right now is two gigabytes, but these are 1066. So we're gonna replace all eight sticks and put new sticks in. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and open up my memory. Now I got these from uh, eCycler. In fact, I'll go ahead, it's from Evolution eCycling, a company out of Pennsylvania. And uh, I think I paid like 40 bucks for the 32 gigabytes. So if you ask me, it's not too bad at all. So uh, we're going to go ahead and stick all of these uh, sticks in. So let me go ahead and get them out. Let me get my electrostatic strap, strap on first. That might help. So let's go ahead and Get these out. Get these set up. So there's four. And let's go ahead and get the other four out. I'm trying to cut it so I could save these bags because uh, these are actually some pretty cool uh, electrostatic bags that they put them in they actually seal them up so this company did a really good job of I mean these are like I said these are recycled RAM chips uh, so not bad at all here so I'm gonna take uh, start taking these out on this side first and then we're just gonna go ahead and get them done Okay, and there we go. So we have it all popped in, and we'll go ahead, go ahead and throw this back in, boot the machine up, and run some tests. So see you in a few. All right, guys, we're back, and had a little issue. Uh, one of the sticks of RAM uh, was bad, so basically I'm going to be running triple channel right now uh, while I resolve that with the uh, seller. So we're going to go ahead and look at about this Mac real quick, and you will see that we are actually running uh, 24 gigabytes of memory so you can see that right there so we're going to go to our memory and as you can see right now we're running uh, four gigabytes in the top three slots of each one uh, the last two slots are empty but this is 10 uh, this is 1333 memory so Let's go ahead and get Geekbench running. So we'll close that out. And we're going to go ahead and run the CPU benchmark uh, real quick. So hopefully uh, this will work out pretty good for you guys and we can see uh, what it's going to do. So let's go ahead and run it. test is now done and this is our new score so we're going to compare this with the last scores I did on here so let me go ahead and open up my last screenshot I believe nope that's not it <laughs> uh, okay there it is uh, a little bit better actually so we went from a let me go ahead and move these to the middle of the screen 
This is the new one up top here, 2692 single core to 26 from a 2659 and then from 23833 to 23449. So our our well, we went from 23449 to 23833. So it actually increased by 400 on that one and about by 40 on the single core. So all right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and run the um, Cinemark Cinebench and see how that works. So let's go with that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run this and we'll see how she goes. And there we go guys so the last one I ran was a 2957 this didn't improve much uh, but this is all just dependent on CPU anyways not much more on the memory uh, but the last the one before that was a 2929 or this one was a 2929 uh, the last one was a 2957 so not much difference there uh, if I run it again I'll probably get a little bit different score but uh, uh, you get the point there. It uh, It is faster on the Geekbench score, which is where I was hoping it would be. So guys, uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy this video and we'll see you next time.